Hello and welcome to another EF2000 Tacticom Let's Play video and in this one we're going to teach you how to avoid missiles. Now one of the key points you need to remember is to keep your distance from any enemies that can launch missiles so they'll give you the greatest time to react and you want to keep all the enemies to one side of you so you already know which direction to go to evade and that's the other way you want to use terrain masking where possible by keeping low and hiding from the enemy so if you've got a hill make use of it put a hill in between you and the enemy you want to fly fast as well and you want to orientate your plane so any missiles that are going to be launched are going to be in the seven to eight o'clock position if it's on the left hand side or on the four or five o'clock position if it's on the right hand side and I've drawn a little picture of the Eurofighter and if you imagine a clock face on it with the 12 o'clock at the top and 4 and 5 and 7 8 o'clock at your rear and ideally engage one enemy at a time so if there's a group of enemies just pick them off one by one at the edges now you've got some points to remember with missiles, especially surface air missiles, they fly fast and much faster than your plane and they can fly up to a speed of Mach 3 and above whereas your Eurofighter is probably going to reach Mach 2 at the most in most situations. So you can use this to your advantage because they can't turn as tightly when they're coming at you in the last second so if you're flying away from a missile and the missiles at the seven to eight o'clock position and you're seeing it on the DAS defensive system which is the right hand side of the display you can turn tightly into it at the last second and that is another phase of maneuver and that will help your situation because the missile can't turn into you and they have limited fuel so if you try and run away from it in the 7 to 8 o'clock position they have to spend more time flying towards you and then that will increase the chances of, them of the missile running out of fuel. Additionally if you fly in this with the missile at the 7 to 8 o'clock position or 4 or 5 o'clock position your countermeasures have more chance of working because you present more countermeasures in the line of sight towards the missile and it's more likely to get fooled. So let's jump into the simulator and put this into practice. We're going to go into the alarm missile practice mission and we're already in the air. We're up at about 8,000 feet at a low speed. So we're going to get to a speed of about 500 knots. You can see there's four alarm missiles there and they're good for taking out surface to air missile launchers now we've been told there's one surface to air missile launcher just ahead so I'm going to try and approach it in a way where we can get any missiles that are locked onto us in the 7 to 8 o'clock position because it will be on our left hand side Now we haven't detected it yet, so I'm going to fly a bit closer. Now I put our electronic countermeasures on by pressing the E button, so that will help break any radar locks from distance. Now this is the DAS defensive screen and I'll press shift and M and it will create a mini version of it on the HUD display you can see that on the right hand side and that will tell you any surface to air missile threats and there's, it's detected one there let's have a look at it it will also tell you which way the missiles if there are any launched at you which direction they're coming in from so that's really useful to orientate your plane in the best possible orientation so that countermeasures uh, work best. So I'm going to fly a bit closer towards it. We're about four miles away from waypoint two, and now we're turning to waypoint three, where this uh, enemy surface air missile launcher is. Now I'm going to demonstrate 
the chaff release button which is the insert button on your keyboard and the flare release button with the delete key chaff is useful for radar guided missiles and flares are good for infrared missiles now the computer will launch flares and chaff automatically for you but if you feel you're threatened you can launch it manually as well now This surface wear missile launcher is about 15 miles away now. And it's we've got a lot of, you tell the what type of missile it's launched at us by the red writing at the bottom centre of the screen. It's a radar guided missile, so we want to launch chaff, which is small bits of aluminium foil, and that'll fool the radar. And it'll launch another missile. Now I'm gonna turn in such a way. So we present the best possible angle towards it. And we're launching chaff, you can see the string of chaff there. So I want to be flying so that the missile's coming towards us at a angle of at an eight o'clock angle where possible. And you can see the yellow dot on the bottom right hand side of the DAS defensive system screen. And we fooled it. I'm using my afterburners as well. And it's been another one's been fooled. So if you hear that missile siren, you've got to take evasive action straight away and get your plane into that sort of angle as I've talked about before. And I'll give you the best possible chance of falling the missile. Of course, if you're in a dogfight and there's enemies all around you, it's very hard to avoid. So I really recommend picking off enemies from a distance where possible and taking on one enemy at a time. So I think this surface side missile launcher has now exhausted the missiles, even though it looks like it's got three missiles on the back of it. So we're going to close a bit closer and take it out. I'm going to do a quick fly past. Let's see if it will do anything else. And there we go, it's not doing anything. So I'm just going to do a loop the loop. And take it out with this alarm missile. And miss it away. Off it goes. And there it is, take it out. So I hope you found that tutorial useful and you go out there and put these theories into practice. Thanks for watching, until next time, bye bye.